So there's a brand new feature coming inside of Microsoft Excel. It's coming through the pipeline and it's one that I'm really excited about and I know that you'll be excited about as well because it's a question that I get asked all of the time. And this feature that I'm talking about here is an autocomplete dropdown or a searchable dropdown menu inside of your Excel data. So let's jump into the exercise file that I have open in front of you and I'm gonna walk you through the steps on how you can now create searchable or autocomplete dropdown menus inside your data. Now, just a little disclaimer here, as of recording this video at this moment, this feature is coming through the pipeline. I'm currently a beta user, part of the Office Insider program for the Office applications, so I've got earlier access to this feature, but it will be released to the public soon, fingers crossed. So sit back, relax, take a look at this feature, and you'll enjoy it shortly. So open in front of you, I've got an example file and I'll put, place a link to this example file just down inside of the description. Uh, again, may not be inside your system yet, but the exercise file will be there just in case. And inside of here, I've got two worksheets. I've got a customer info worksheet, which is a raw data list, just a big list of all of the customer information. And I've got customer details. It's a simple little spreadsheet, but I've got a company name at the top and I've got some details for the specific customer that is, that's showing instead of cell B3. So here, each of these columns, I've got a little X lookup function that's just pulling data based on who the customer currently is, and it's pulling it from the customer info worksheet. Now, what I wanna be able to do is click up in the cell B3, go to a little drop down, and get a list of all of the customers for me to pick from. Now you've probably done this before. We've got the data validation feature that's been part of Excel forever. So I can go into cell B3, I can go to my data tab, I can go into the data tools section, and I can go into data validation, data validation. And here, I can set up the validation criteria to allow a list. And then my source is going to be the customer info tab. And I'm going to grab cells, what is that, B2 down to B92. That's all of my data right there, or all of the company names. So I'll go ahead and hit OK. So I now got a little drop down where I can pick from the various company names from that other sheet. Now, the idea here is when I select a customer, for example, let's get this one here, Bonap. If I select that, the X lookup then updates and pulls all of that customer information for me. Pretty slick. Nice little drop down. X lookup function pulls the data for me. Now, the question that I get asked a lot of is, well, what if you've got hundreds of entries inside this list? Right now, I've got to sit here and scroll through and hopefully it's in alphabetical order and I've got to look for the specific company or customer that I want here. Well, the new feature is this little drop down is now searchable. Take a look. So if I click into cell B3 and I type in, let's say the letter B, I want to find all the customers that start with B. If I click into there, the little drop down is now going to filter for B. Now, there is multiple Bs inside there. It's not necessarily the, the, that started with the letter B, but I've got the B list inside of there. And if I continue going, let's we'll see, we saw Bone App earlier. I can say B-O, and now it's going to continue to filter or search that list for me. So this is our data validation feature, something that you may have used in the past, but Microsoft has now bumped it up and made it searchable or a little autocomplete for us. So I can continue that going. There's Bone App. I can select that, and it's giving me that entry. Let's try one more here. I'll try the letter E. There's a bunch of them inside there. Let's see, I see Ernst, there it is. And I just like that and I don't have to search. I don't have to sit there and scroll through the list and try to find that entry that I'm looking for, kind of that needle in the haystack of all of those entries, but it'll search for me. So again, new feature coming through the pipeline. Microsoft is just releasing it. It will be available to the public soon. Again, fingers crossed here soon. Very neat feature. Uh, one that they anticipate will be added into the, into the feature when they do release it uh, is if your original list, your master list, has duplicate values in the column, the feature will also remove duplicates. 
Okay, very cool. No other function needed. You don't have to filter the list first. It will do it for you. So very cool feature, autocomplete or searchable dropdowns through data validation. So if you've enjoyed this video, you learned something new, give it a thumbs up. And if you're looking forward to additional videos like this one, make sure you subscribe to the channel and get alerts when new videos are uploaded. So thanks a lot for visiting me here and hopefully you'll learn something new.